going into this season, um, like everybody had mentioned, um, this group was so incredibly driven. Um, I think just that our leadership, it's great when a coach doesn't have to do the motivating, doesn't have to be the driver when the team is. And, you know, this is a team where they knew what they wanted to accomplish. Um, it's very unique that the, you know, the scoring leader and all the accolades that Jackie received going into it, that she was so, I'm not gonna say she was quiet, but there were many other voices. Uh, um, you know, you talk about guard play, I think from the one, two and three position, that was our leadership, that was our core, that was our motivation. And then we had the bigs, you know, um, many teams we didn't have the bigs and this was the biggest, most talented group of post players that we may have ever had in terms of the numbers, you know, and got hurt and Kay stepped right up and I went back and looked at the highlight tape and my goodness, Kinga was right there a couple of games, uh, adding some things that we needed at that time. Uh, but, you know, with Melody and Jackie and Tara and Carly, they were the core and then everybody else accepted uh, what they were supposed to do in terms of minutes and I, coaching them was really easy. We weren't on paper the most talented team, but because of everybody being so unselfish and Coach Burnett doing a tremendous job of getting us to buy into our roles and just the closeness we had as a team, we were able to beat so many more um, talented teams and, and just being able to take you know, the adversity that we were handed and turning it into a positive you know, from those first three years where we always were you know, so disappointed at the end of the year. And then to be able to go into our senior year and again, into the NCAA tournament, getting so disappointed when we thought we were gonna get the host. I, I can remember that watch party being in tears because we're like, oh my gosh, we're not gonna play in Hammond Student Center ever again. And, um, but you know what, that made us tougher because then we had to go on the road and you know, Tara scores 40 versus Toledo. And, um, and we're playing uh, Rutgers on the home court who hadn't lost a game, um, was a Final Four team the year before, and Melody hits this huge shot. I can still picture it in my mind. The short corner on the baseline just nails the shot, and um, Carly making me look good, throwing me all these great passes down the court, um, you know, and helping me, um, you know, score points. And it's just, it was just amazing how everybody um contributed in huge ways and then I, I think back to to all of our crazy superstitions um i remember the locker room code being 314 and we were like we are a team of destiny because that was st louis's area code and um and I'll, I'll never forget that moment when we beat washington and i can still feel that uh, now and thinking oh my gosh and and we we pulled off something that most people think was an impossible dream what we were able to do and when you do something like that you will you'll never forget that feeling and then you know going back to the springfield airport a 10 gate airport it took us we landed like at 7 p.m and it took us three hours to get through springfield missouri airport because of the pandemonium of the crowd like we literally needed security because people were like trampling other people to get pictures it was just such an amazing scene for women's basketball and another memory i have is at the final four i know i've been to a lot of final four since but i'm biased i, I feel like there's never been one with that kind of electricity because we were a cinderella team and then we were playing we bust to the final four in st louis and we were like the hometown team and i'll never forget the autograph session and here's uh, UConn on one end and us on the other. And like, there's this huge massive line for our autographs. And I look over and there's not really anyone over there. I was like, what is going on? It was just, it was such a special uh, a memory. Now, now I still cannot talk about that final four game. It still hurts that much because I was really wanting coach Burnett to get her first tattoo because she promised if we won the national championship, she would have one. So it was 20 years ago. I don't remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, honestly, I when I stop and think there are 
so many moments and different things that trigger different moments for me um, that are that are just amazing. And the things that you remember, and I try to tell my kids this all the time, you know, you're not gonna remember certain parts of the game and stuff like that that happened, but you remember like the times that you had with your teammates um, in hotels and doing different things and, and you know, going through grueling, grueling um, pre-season and just just getting that out together. So I think some of the memories that I are that are like embedded both in my mind and maybe right here on my face are like the little um, you know the turf things from where we were on the turf in the the heat of the day and it's stuck to my face because we're doing fingertip push up holds and then somebody lets down and so we all drop and it's just smashed to your face and you know I remember that kind of stuff really really well and. Um, you know, so those are the memories that, that you sometimes think about. But man, I would go back. I tell people this all the time. I don't care how grueling Hell Week was. I would go back and I would do it for four straight years all over again, knowing that I would have the same outcome that we had, not even winning at all. I would go back and do it all again for that same experience. It was that great. I mean, it was awesome. It was amazing. Um, who gets to get off a plane and feel like they're a celebrity. Who comes home to voicemails asking you to marry them and you don't even know who these people are? <laughs> I mean, it was just a small glimpse of what what um, it's really like to be a celebrity the whole run. We can't go to the mall with Jackie. I mean, we would have to drag her. I'll never forget, we went to the mall one time and somebody was like, where's Jackie? And Carly said, I think she's back there in such and such store still signing autographs. So we had to go drag her out of there. And I mean, just memories like that, you know, those are the things that you remember. And I miss it. I miss these girls a ton. Um, I miss laughing about things. Um, and, you know, those are the things that you really remember. Sure, we love, you know, beating Duke. Who wouldn't love beating Duke? Um, we love, you know, sticking it to Rutgers at their place when we should have never had to play there in the first place. Yeah, we love it. Um, so those are all great memories. But I think the things that that are so impactful are all those other things, just being a part of a group of, of girls. And I think maybe if there's one thing that's the most amazing memory for me is feeling like not one person on that team felt like they were being undercut or underslided in any of their roles. It was the most unique experience I've ever been a part of that year. When you think of the Final Four, I, I don't feel like it was just that year. I felt like it was the four, all the four years together. I mean, every teammate we ever had or, uh, and that put on a Lady Bear jersey got us to that Final Four. I mean, we learned something each year. Um, it was always a disappointment in the in the NCAA tournament, you know, we were one and out, two and out, one and out. Uh, we knew we had more to give. And I think those lessons we learned in the teammates uh, that we had going through that process uh, propelled us that last year to really accept a role, um, accept that everyone on this team has something to give. And we've got to make sure that we just uh, gel together. And like Melody said, I've coached of many years as well. It's very hard um to coach a team where everyone's fighting for a position i mean everybody's fighting for time on the floor and you're trying to catch the coach's eye and you're you know you're really competing with your teammates the teammates that you're a family with and it can really boil up if you know and go sour quickly but uh this team just didn't let that happen i think uh that's the special stuff that makes championship teams for us as a team um we were all such great friends outside of basketball too. And that was what was really special. And we were disappointed for the first three years in the tournament. And I think something just clicked this last year. We all held each other accountable. We were all hard workers. I don't think anyone ever dogged a workout or didn't show up or didn't do what they were supposed to do. And, you know, and I think that we obviously are a little disappointed about the end run at the final four because we knew we had more to give in that tournament and we just had an off game, but we, we had a goal. Everyone had the same goal and that's very rare that you find that and we knew what we wanted to do and we accomplished that final four run. People ask all the time what Melody said, like, what, how, 
what's the best part? And I'm like, just the camaraderie, the those friendships, the oh, like oh my gosh, and just and there's never been anything like it before. And um, I just there's so much. Like I, you know, I'll go back and like pull out pictures or whatever, and just oh my god, oh yeah, I remember this or this, and um, and just like she said, hotel trip, yeah, I, it was incredible. It's so much fun, and just seeing these girls, like it's like I could like probably like even Tara and I like talked about this uh, not too long, not too long ago about having like it, how awesome would it be like for all of us like to get together and have like a, some little like sh small trip or whatever like I feel like it would be like it would be like we just like we you know like we hadn't even missed a day or you know since we'd seen each other spring break 2021 yeah going to Brazil <laughs> <laughs> yes. come over come over when we went to Missouri, we saw a different world. You know, we start seeing very, I would say very hard practices. <laughs> you know, we had, uh, well, we had a specific week, you know, that I can't forget. Uh, I don't know if I can say that. Can I say that? Remedial. Say Can I remedial. Say, oh, okay. Oh, I, I used, to, you know, they they taught me. They taught me how weak. I don't know, but if I can say that, right? Yes. So they taught me. I couldn't speak English very well, so they taught me how weak, and I can't forget this name, you know. And you know, I still have the book. I still have the book with all the practices. Remember that? I don't know how booklet. Is that the name? I still have the booklet. I, I I kept with me because I thought I thought that was unforgettable, you know. Um, so I had a great experience because, especially at the final four, um, it was such a big thing for me. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of people like I saw there, you know. Um, I was just looking, people coming and coming and coming. And I saw all the, the gym like packed, full of people. And that was amazing. And I said, oh my God, I, I'm going to play, you know? Now and then all these people are here, you know? And it was a, a different sensation, a different feeling. I don't know. I, I don't even know how, how to explain that. It was amazing. Well, you guys have no idea how much I'm honored, you know, to be part of this program. It was a great experience. Today, if I ride my bike like 80 kilometers, if I run like six miles, it's because the everything that I learned there. You know, you had to become a mental toughness. You had to have the discipline, uh, the teamwork, you know, and they embraced us because, you know, they were already together for a couple of years and then we came along, we couldn't speak, we could speak a little bit, but we were, we came from a different program, but I learned a lot and, and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that will take with me for the rest of my life. So I just, I'm so happy for being a part of it. it I don't know you guys, but my mental age is like 26 still. I can't believe I'm 44. When I see you all, it, it, it looks like that we played like last, last summer, you know, together. So I had so much fun. I remember too in the airport when we got there. Oh my gosh, so many people. Uh, it doesn't matter if you played, if you didn't play, everybody loved you, you know? So, and I believe Eric and I uh, are the only Brazilians that reached that far, you know, they reached the final four for a, uh, yeah, for a division one women's basketball. So yeah, we are very proud. You guys cannot imagine how proud. I try, I'm not, I like to, I'm humble, but when I see like my bosses from the United States come, I try to say a little bit, you know, I went to the final four, blah, 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 you know? So it's very, it, I love to share these kind of things with everybody. So I just want to thank you all for the, the opportunity.